Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be another test video for you guys today. So what we're going to test here, there's a couple things. Now, the first thing we're going to see is without seasons turned on. So I'm going to go into here. I have seasons turned to no, so no seasonal growth. Um, one day months, fixed visual month, doesn't matter. That's what our settings are. The main thing we're going to see here is how long it takes each crop to grow. And we're going to go through wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soy, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, sugar cane, grass, grapes, and olives. And then past that, um, if we go onto a map here, there is a withered state, and I don't have seasons on, so I have two fields that have withered. I don't know how long I own them for them to wither, but um, I have three fields, looks like at least, down there that have withered. And you can't turn withering on or off. There's no setting option for that. So after we see how long it takes these guys to grow up, we're going to see how many days um, in game it's going to take for them to wither. So we're going to take a look at that as well. Um, I have seen other people post similar videos to this, but I haven't seen anyone test out the withering specifically. So um, here we are, day one. I just planted all these guys. And again, the order I listed them off, wheat all the way down to olives. That is the order that are on here. So again, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, all the way down. So that's the order. Um, I will bring you guys back in every day so we can see where they're at. Um, if we look at the menu here, this is grass right here that I planted grass there. So grass there, we have olives and grapes down at the end. Um, everything should be fairly easy to tell. Some of them are gonna take a little less time to grow, you can see, because they were planted in the second growth state or the next growth state there. So um, we're gonna bring you guys back in every day. I'll show you guys this map, and then we will look at the growth states on there. So I'll bring you guys back in for every single one of those. All right, here we are, day one. So again, uh, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soy, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, sugar cane, grass, grapes, and then olives. And if we look at the menu, you can see everything's moved up a little bit. These are a little bit darker. That one's darker down there. So that's one day in. So all right, I'll see you guys on day two. All right, day two, let's go ahead and just fly down here. I'm not going to list all the crops off every time, but uh, day two, we'll just kind of fly down here, take a look at all of them. You should be able to assume what most of them are on there. And again, if you need to really need to know that order that I read off, it's the order I've read off every time so far, if you really wanted to know which ones. But uh, yeah, and again, there's cultivated ground in between each of these, except for the grapes and olives down here at the end. Now we go to the menu. Grass is ready to harvest. Took us two days to get that done. So two days for grass. Grass is ready to harvest. Nothing else is ready to harvest. So I'll go ahead and see you guys on day three. All right, day three. So let's see. Nothing else is ready to harvest and things are starting to get close. So again, I will just fly across here so you guys can take a look at them. Feel free to pause at any point if you wanted to take a look at any of the different crop types here. But just so you guys can see the growth states here. There's our, har our grass ready to harvest there. Grapes, olives, all that good stuff. So I will go ahead and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, day four here. So we have oats right here, ready to harvest. Sorghum right here, ready to harvest. And at the end here, that's grass right there. And at the end here, we have olives ready to harvest. So now uh, for those crop types, the wither counter or the wither day counter to see how long it takes for them to uh, wither is going to start. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on. Um, we'll just go ahead and again, we'll fly over the crops. So there's oats there ready to harvest. There's sorghum there ready to harvest. And again, we know grass is coming up here and grass is ready. And then at the very end, you see those kind of tree-like deals at the end. Those are the olive uh, trees there. Those guys are ready to harvest there. So there we go. I'll see you guys here on the next day. All right, welcome back for day five here. So we have potatoes now ready to harvest. Now they're removed foliage. So some products will be say removed foliage. So once the foliage is removed, they'll be ready to harvest technically speaking, but that's when they're essentially in their harvesting state um, for at least the terms are just, oh, and sorry as well. Grapes here are ready to harvest after five days. So um, that is the other thing to notice as well. Grapes are also ready to harvest after five days. So um, yeah, we are gonna go ahead and we'll take a look at all of the textures here flying across. So again, we'll point out the ones that are now ready and then those ones will be added to our counter there. So there's potatoes right there at the bottom of the screen. Beets, cotton, sugar cane, grass, and there's grapes down there, which I love the grapes ready to harvest and the olives as well, they look fantastic. But there you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and skip forward to day six and I'll see you guys then. All right, day six. So we have some more stuff ready to harvest. If you look in here, we now have barley, which is right here. And then we have um, soy and corn are also ready to harvest now. Everything else is still not ready. So we're gonna go ahead and fly across. And then again, all those crops will be added now to the wither day counter, which we're up to four for grass, two for olives or anything else that was at four days. But yeah, so we're going across, we're doing our thing, but there you go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue into day seven. All right, day seven. So now, Everything is ready except for, um, we have canola, 
and cotton. Everything else is ready. Sugar cane, all of it. Everything else is ready at seven days now. Um, and again, everything else is getting added to our wither counter, which um, as far as the wither counter goes, I'm going to go to 12 days past whatever the last crop is to go. So I'm assuming at eight days, everything else should be ready to go. But um, we'll go ahead and take a look at everything. So again, you see canola is still green there. Canola is not ready to harvest yet. And then if we continue down, we'll see the cotton, which is um, now, right below sugarcane, they're not ready to harvest yet, but everything else is ready to harvest. So we're going to go ahead and go to eight days, and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, and on day eight, everything is ready to harvest or remove tops, everything across the board. So um, we'll go ahead and take a look at all of it through here. But again, uh, wheat here at seven days. We have barley at six days, oats at four days, canola at eight days, sorghum at four days, sunflower at seven days, soy and corn here at six days. Potatoes at five days, sugar beets at seven, cotton at eight, sugarcane at seven, grass at two, and then we have grapes at five and olives at four. So that is all of that there. That is all of those guys ready to harvest there. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward a bunch of days. I'm gonna fast forward 12 days from the point we're at now and I see if any of this stuff withers or when it does wither, how long it takes. So um, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and run that experiment and see if we even get any withering. Um, who knows how long I've been running those other fields. Um, I'm just gonna run 12 days and kind of see where we're at and see if I wanna keep going the test from there. All right, folks. Well, I went forward 20 days, 20 days, 20 days without seasons on. And it doesn't look like there's a wither function, which I have no idea why these ones are showing up as withered. So if we go hop over here and look at this guy, I actually can jump over there. Now let's go ahead and oh, well, let me visit that. Can I visit that? Can I visit that? There we go. If I go over here, I do have a withered field here. But 20 days have passed. So this one is withered. 20 days have passed, and I have not gotten anything on these. So at a minimum, you have 20 days, 20 of them, 20 of them before you have to worry about withering. So that should be more than enough time. Um, so yeah, guys, I know that test a little bit interesting as far as the, uh, the end of it goes, but hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell. So you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been farmer cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.